Hey y'all, welcome back to the channel. I'm Mike with Fowler Family Farm. Today I'm gonna to be working on the, uh, shh, I'm doing a video. I'm gonna be working on the dog kennel, dog cage, whatever you wanna call it, where our new puppy livestock guardian dog's gonna be staying. Uh, this will be his area where only he can get in it. Uh, kind of designed like I did Jenny's back there. And if you'll remember right, I just took this down. I wish I would have left it now. At the time, I didn't know I was going to get another dog. And I'm actually getting one more dog probably a month from now. So we'll actually have three livestock guardian dogs out here. But anyway, I wish I wouldn't have taken that one down because I could have just started using it right away. Um, so I'm going to probably add at least one more T-post right here. And I'll make it, I don't know, it's probably going to be eight feet by three and a half or four feet. That's plenty of space for one dog. Um, and I may end up putting the other puppy over here as well for a little while, um, but I don't know yet. So first thing I want to do is drag my cattle panel. I got a cattle panel on the other side of the barn. I want to drag it over here and that's what I'm going to use to make this dog cage with. I'm probably going to put some wiring on the bottom half of it so he can't just come right through the, because there's six by six openings, I think, or yeah, there's six by six openings. So I'm probably going to put some, uh, fit some type of field fence up here, wire fence, thin wire fence, so he just can't just walk through it, so it's, he stays in. And I do want him to stay in it probably for four or five days, maybe even a week, so he knows it's his place. We'll come out and let him out and let him run around for sure, but he's going to stay inside that pen for at least four or five days, if not more. If not more. Okay, so right here is six feet, so I can probably go nine feet I would say. What do I got between the two? Two and a half feet? Yeah I got two and a half feet between each of these posts so I might as well just go two and a half feet here. So that'd give me eight that'd give me about eight and a half foot length, which is plenty of length for a for a puppy. We'll put another T post about right there. And then that'll be my gate area right here in front. That's actually a little over four feet. Silence. So Silas likes this corner, don't you buddy? You like this corner? Yeah. Yeah. I'm building you a cage, buddy. Oh, you want to pet your belly? Yeah. I'll pet your belly. I'll pet your belly. Yeah, I'll pet your belly. Good boy. Good boy. Okay, Silas, I gotta get to work. You lay there and be lazy. You won't get a chance to be lazy much longer. What are you doing, Cinnamon? What are you doing? Hmm? It's okay. I know it's loud, isn't it? It's okay. It's okay. This ground is so hard. It has bent. That little piece right there. Whew, I'm out of breath. So while I catch my breath, this one here is bent, about right there. Let's see if I can re-bend it and get it back in shape. You can use these, you can use this to pull them up, but you put them on the knob side. <laughs> One more. Perfect. Okay, so this is the T-post I just put in. I'm shooting from a different angle now, so. 
I want to measure this total length of the cage, which is 105. I'll probably go a little further than that. Let me see. Let me make sure. Yeah, I'll probably go to 106. So I'm going to cut that uh, cattle panel that I drug over here to 106, and it probably won't work out perfectly. But the end that's not one straight vertical piece will be down at that end. So the straight vertical piece that I don't cut will be over here on this side. So I was about halfway between one of these, so that's my 106. Well, it's always a good day when the uh, trash man shows up, takes your trash away. So now I got two more weeks of, uh, or another week of uh, empty can and can start loading it again. Between my mom's house and our house, we fill that dumpster up every week, believe it or not. It's a lot of trash. All right, I cut that to 106. My battery died, but I think y'all, if I watched it back right, I think y'all got everything I was supposed to show you, so. Now we're just gonna put it up here, uh, tie it in with some tie wraps or uh, some zip ties, and then we'll work on the gate side. I, uh, earlier I did say that I was using uh, zip ties, but I actually found my metal T-post ties, so I'm gonna use those. I see Meemaw, Meemaw's coming. Y'all be on your best behavior. Well, hello, Mimo. Yeah, you can help me if you want. You can uh, hand me some pie for right here. It's just one puppy. In this corner. Be smarter than a fifth grader, Mimo. Come on. All right.
Okay, so that's what they all look like. I've got three on each T-post. It's good and sturdy. It ain't going nowhere. So now, this is a piece that's already been cut. We'll see if it's how big it is. I may have to cut it down a little bit more for this gate side. Look at Silas. He's had a rough couple days. He's tired. Hey, buddy. Say hi to your YouTube friends. Wake up. Silas. <whistles> Silas. <laughs> He ain't budging. Okay, I'm going to show y'all how I, I plan on fasten this end of the gate to where it will still swivel. If you can see right through here, I don't know if you can see very well, but there's a stud right here. And then there's a stud down there. And then this is 5 8 inch thick particle board. Ooh, look at that sucker. Anyway. I plan on using these nail staples and I'll show you what they do. I've got it done right over here. Let me see if I can get that to focus. There you go. So you see how that nails in and then this vertical piece is through the nail basically. And I did it ever so often. And it swivels fine. So that stuff holds up to the goat's weight. The dog will put its weight up on that gate. And it, that gate's been there for three years and it's never come loose. It's never, it's still good. So that's what we're gonna try over here. Hopefully it works. The only problem is this uh, piece of particle wood. Um, it's a four by eight piece, but it's kind of slanted. It's kind of warped. So it may not work as well as I want it to, but we're, we're gonna give it a shot. Go ahead and turn it that way. Bring it all the way up this way. No. <laughs> Okay, so the gate is up. It's, it's not perfect, but it's, it's good enough for now. And I think it'll probably last as long as I need it to. But I did put uh, four total nails in. This one is in the stud. This is not in a stud, but it's in the plywood. And then this top one's in the stud, and that one didn't make it. It's not in the stud. And then for my latches, right here's my latch. Go ahead and come in on, on this close. Uh, pretty simple. Um, I, I don't have what I really need, but you just, you'll just undo it like that. And then I have one at the bottom as well. You just do it the same way. So it's pretty simple. Just pull this out, this fence out, and it hooks. So nothing should be able to get that undone. All right, I'm gonna go get some uh, food and water and put in here, put him in here, and I'll show you that when we're done. And Meemaw thinks we need to name him Raccoon. She don't want do. to be on video. I do want to name him Raccoon. Because he's got a raccoon I face. Raccoon face. Silas. Man, he sleeps a lot. He was over here playing a while ago while I was working. And I didn't get, get it on video. That wore him out, so he's asleep again. Hey, come here. Come here, Silas. Come here, boy. Come here. You were all clean and looking pretty, and now you're going to be all dirty. And he still looks like a raccoon. He does. You look like a raccoon, buddy.
Hey, big boy. Hey, Silas. Where you go eat? I got your pen and your food ready. Hey, buddy. You're tired, aren't you? You have a long day? Yeah. You had a long day, didn't you? Oh, I know. Come on, let's go eat. Come on. Come on. You hungry, buddy? Are you hungry? What do you want, Cinnamon? This ain't your pen. Go on. Let's go. Go on. Well, he found the food. And I did wet his food down. So he could probably start eating it dry. Okay, I got a question for y'all. I've heard this both ways. Some people say that these uh, livestock guardian dogs should go, you know, once they are weaned from their mama, they should go straight to a uh, high protein adult food, helps them grow. Um, other people say, no, keep them on puppy food. You don't want them to grow too quick. I've heard it both ways and I've done it both ways. Jenny actually went straight to adult food right away. Dayla stayed on puppy food until she was probably six to eight months old, maybe even older. And then we put her on adult food. Um, leave it in the comments and let me know what you think. Uh, I don't know which one's right or wrong. I, maybe you can do both and it's not a big deal. Um, I know you want these dogs to be fairly big, but you don't want them to be too big and you don't want them to get you don't want, I don't know if you necessarily want them to grow too quick where it would uh, you know, have some joint issues or, or bone problems. I'm not really for sure. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. He's a hungry boy. He hadn't stopped eating. Okay, Silas, you stay in there for the night, okay? Don't sneak out under that hole over there either. I gotta go fix that too. He can obviously fit through all these little openings. <laughs> I do plan on putting uh, some kind of field fence along this, the real thin wire fence. Well, here, I'll show you. I've got it right here. This right here. And the reason this was here to begin with was for our first livestock guardian dog, Dayla, when she was a puppy. And then also for our baby goats, because this is the first pen that we had all of our baby goats in too. I didn't want them to slip out. Ain't that right? Oh, girl. Yep. Okay, y'all, that's gonna wrap this video up. I will put some uh, wire fence along the bottom of that probably tomorrow sometime uh, it's about to be dark anyway and we're going to go run and catch a movie braxton and his buddies want to go see eternals I, got, I think that's a marvel movie not sure so we got to drive about 45 minutes to go watch a movie uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video if you're new to the channel make sure you go down and hit that subscribe button remember to hit the like button and leave us a comment talk to you guys next time